Hi folks, in the first part of the video I showed you how to add action items to the action bar. In this part of the video I'm going to show you how to hide them and show them. Because in assignment 4, sometimes these are hidden and sometimes they're shown. So, well, let's try and hide them and then show them. So. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the main activity.xml. That's our uh, that's our layout, and I'm going to add a button so that we can turn on the menu after they've been hidden. So I'm going to grab a button and just drop it on our form. I'm going to right click and I'm going to update the text. So I'll just call this button turn on items. Nice simple button. Now, I want to be able to capture clicks on this button, so I'm going to say other properties, inherited from view, and there's an on click property. Basically, it's like Visual Basic or like C Sharp. I'm going to make an on click handler, also like JavaScript. So, I'm going to call this on turn. On uh, items clicked. Okay, so, and I'm going to make a copy of that. So, if we take a look at the XML, I have a button. It's called button one, but I'll call this uh, turn on button. So, I have the turn on button. It's got an on click handler, and it's got some text. So, I'm going to save that. So now let's go back to our code. So, by default, if we have any action items in our menu, they're, vi they're visible. So, we want to make them not visible at the start. So, the way I'm going to do that is after I inflate the menu, I'm going to say menu dot find item. So the item we want first is R for resources ID dot and we're going to take R number one. Now I'm going to then add a dot to that and set whoops I'll just use this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What's going on here? Set visible. There we go. To false. I'll make a copy of that. And I'll set the visibility to true. Uh, to false. And we'll change this one to two. Now, the next thing I need is. I need a way to get access to this menu at a later time. So, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to make a private variable. And it'll be a type menu. And I'll call it action menu. You'll notice that it's underlined because we haven't yet used it. Now, I have to make my click handler. By mistake, I overwrote the name, so let's go copy that again. So, to make a click handler, I'm just going to say public void and it's named on on turn on the uh, on turn on items clip and by default we get past the the button, and the button, as we know, is a view. Now, the view is underlined because it hasn't been imported, so let's go ahead and import that. Now, if somebody clicks on that button, we want to set the visibility of the two menus to true. So, let's go. There's two long. Paste it in here, but you'll see that the menu is in where, because menu is a local variable up here. So, 
we're going to grab the action menu and we're going to grab our our, our reference to the menu. That way we always have access to the menu using the name action menu. So I'll change this to action menu. And I'll change these both to true because I want them to be shown. Oops. So, just to make sure it's clear, this function gets called once and it puts the, the it actually builds the menu. And then I lose track of this variable. That's why I use this variable so I can track it throughout the existence of the activity. So, let's try this out. Everything's saved, so let's give it a run. So it's starting up. So there it's gone blank. It's about to start. So as it starts, you see there's no menu items here. If I click turn on, they turn on. Great! So that's another hint for assignment 4. See you later. Bye bye.